اوكي خلنا نشوف ال unsupervised learning so we have the clustering we have anomaly detection and we have uh, anomaly detection means uh, uh, weird behavior detection we have long short term memory LSTM and we have generative adversarial networks and we have autoencoders so clustering is like we saw it's like it's putting things into groups so this technique aims to identify groups of data to build representation of the input the most common method to create clusters is by grouping the data are non-overlapping hierarchical or and overlapping clustering methods so uh, I guess how the um, uh, uh, functions so we uh, clustering and the k means and uh, the self-organizing maps we have fuzzy c means and Gaussian mixture models GMM. طيب طبعا يعني uh, to find groups, yeah, they're usually using the distance function. So anomaly detection is any process that finds the outlier of a data set. Those items that don't belong, these anomalies might point to unusual network traffic, uncover a sensor on the fritz, or simply identify data for cleaning before analysis. Um, time series anomaly detection, outlier detection. Actually, and I would say that this, يعني it detects uh, weird behavior, صح? So it's suitable to detect, مثلا, an attacker behavior. لأن an attacker behavior um, would 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 be would seem different than normal behavior. So this is this is a good way to detect it. It, they, it, they're also using it for cleaning the data before they actually use it so yes uh, this is cool um, generative adversar adversarial networks uh, and actually deep learning is um, our deep fake is uh, something we should fear a little bit yeah, not too much but we should uh, be aware of this this stuff لأن some people can uh, fake يعني take مثلا someone's picture and fake uh, a scenario for this person يعني يعني it's like أنا ممكن أخذ أخذ وجه حدا أحطه على جسم حدا تاني وممكن أس أخلي يعني أحطه حتى في فيديو مش بس بصورة فديروا بالكم انه ما ما تصدقوا حدا انه بيجوا بيفرجوكم فيديو بيقولوا لكم انه كذا وكذا انه it could be fake يعني easily now it's available to everyone anyone can use this application and it's cheap and anyone can do this now you, you can just take anyone's face and put it into someone else's body and even it works for videos and so yes uh, this technique learns to generate new data with the same statistics as the training set this is actually even more interesting um, what it does is um, and I can give it a set like I can give it um, input of normal human beings what normal people look like and what the face features of a normal human would look like and I can give it give it a bunch of faces like maybe a thousand faces and then the the model will learn these features the statistics and stuff and will generate a completely weird يعني, face this person does not exist wait and I want to show you guys Uh, 
Um, wait, and I want to show you guys. Yani this person, this baby is not a real person. It, it looks like a real, a real baby, صح? Well, it's it's a fake person. Okay. And let's click on this one. No, Tom Cruise, Cruise isn't on TikTok. Um, this one is a person who used to have a TikTok and he would um, uh, put put um, put uh, his um, uh, put Tom Cruise's face on his body and uh, uh, everyone used to think he's Tom Cruise in real life. Okay. And let's okay so this is all okay so we have the gan uh, it takes input uh, space and exors with a generator generates fake samples and here are real samples here there's a discriminator fine tune training so this is like a feedback. Okay. Uh, for wireless wireless signal spoofing. Uh, okay. So Hana, they're I guess they're taking a real a real signal, and they are creating a a fake signal which looks which has the same statistics. And uh, in this case, we have an adversary that can act like a legitimate user. So this one issue also. And it can be used for spoofing. Tayyib. So Hana, um, so it's just, it's just like uh, trying to imitate a real signal. So we have a random signal attack, which uh, performs random uh, transmissions with power P, and a replay attack, which replays an actual, um, an actual signal, and uh, it does not have any knowledge on channel gains. It cannot optimally tune its power, thus it uses P to amplify its signals. And the GAN-based uh, spoofing attack, so we have three different attack types, and it generates synthetic signals using the GAN, uh, and the transmission power is up to P. So Hana, it, the, it discusses three different types of attacks using this fake, yani, real fake, yani, the generative adversarial network for wireless signal spoofing. So I guess this is like the model they are using. We have the hidden layers and we have the output layer. And we have the bias, activation function, everything is the same. Juana, we have a feed-forward neural network, and it only goes in one direction. But we can have a two-direction. We have generative adversarial network for wireless signal spoofing. Um, three, three different types of attacks. Will probability of success for each attack. It's actually high. The spoofing attack has a high yani, success rate. Um, and it depends on the location. So if it's 10, 10 units away in the y-axis, then it 
It works 76% of the time. And now we look into reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is, uh, yani it's it keeps learning. It yani it keeps learning with time. Okay. It, the problems involving an agent interacting with an environment which provides numeric reward signals. The goal is to learn how to take actions in order to maximize reward. Fahana we deal with action, state, we have a state, and the next state, and the reward, and an action. Okay, so I remember that the doctor said if I grab this bottle of water, then I can uh, drink it and راح يرتوي العطش تبعه صح؟ ف this this state uh, is associated with this action يعني the state of drinking water is associated with feeling uh, uh, um, not thirsty anymore يعني فهنا he, he analyzes the reward and the action associated with this reward okay طيب components أول كان عنا بال other models كان عنا features input features output labels هون عنا state ال الفرق إن هون عنا state and action state و reward و action ال reward إنه how well an agent is doing in the short term and the state is description of the environment policy is an agent behavior how it maps from state to action value is how good it is it is to be in a particular position take a certain action oh, yeah. And model is the agent view of the environment. طيب هو هيك عكلان كتير بس الفكرة إنه it looks at the rewards in the short term. ف this is actually a little bit of an issue لأنه sorry لأنه ممكن مثلا واحد مثلا I'm I'm trying to learn what I should say to make the person happy مثلا. بس مثلا if I want to train this on real humans uh, ال humans ممكن مثلا uh, ما يكون instant ال, ال reaction تبعهم ما تكون instant فما تبين بالshort term ممكن مثلا أنا أسوي إشي كويس اليوم أعمل action good action بس ما أتلقى reward لكن بكرة مثلا الشخص هذا بيجي بيحكي لي شكرا أما السيستم هاي حتفكر إنه هاي الشكرا لإشي in the short term هاي كلمة إنه ليش إجا شكرني فحيصير يتعلم أشياء غلط فبسبب هاي short term ففي شوي limitations بال reinforcement learning so at each step t the agent receives observation O and maps it to state t and executes action A t and receives a scalar reward R t Okay. The environment receives an action, AT, and emits an observation, OT plus 1, and emits a scalar reward, RT plus 1. Okay. How can we mathematically formalize the re re reinforcement learning problem? So, كيف نحولها لأرقام؟ 
التشالنجز انه اولا observations depend on agents action so observation depends on the action blame attribute uh, sorry blame attribution problem so nothing taken on agents should balance exploration and exploitation trade off هلا انا انا درست الاكسبلوريشن والاكسبلويتيشن بشيء ثاني والفكره انه اي هنا ما عندي قلم طيب خلينا نتخيل نتخيل اجراف او او خليني اعمل لكم اعمل طيب supervised and supervised ورحنا على ال reinforcement learning كمان so احنا عندنا reinforcement learning The challenges. <coughs> so exploration is like a random variable; it gives randomness, and exploitation is like. Um, okay, then we'll see. For example, here we have global optima, and here we have local optima. So we want to try it here. Okay, we want to try. to reach the max the ma global maximum بس المشكله انه if the exploit is if the exploration is not high enough it will think that this is the the global maximum بس if the exploration is high enough it will look uh, farther and it will look that there is a maximum هون and it will manage to get out of the local maxima and it will go to this one and then it will go to the other one يعني Exploration is really important, even though it gives randomness. It 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 avoids the local optima, and exploitation is when we actually reach here. يعني we follow the 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 path. يعني if this is going high, then we follow this. يا رب أكون يعني يا رب ما تكون خانتني الذاكرة.